Now this uh, fourth question which is based on Newton's law, it is asking you to calculate the impulse. Impulse is basically change in momentum. You can see here this is a vertical wall, you understand this is a vertical wall given to you in which a ball is striking and this kind of collision you can say is a very elastic one. So whatever speed with which this ball is hitting with the same speed it is going away making same angle. It says that a rigid ball of mass m strikes a rigid wall at 60 degree. So this 60 degree is with the normal to the wall not with the wall. Wall is 30 degree and it angle with the wall is 30 degree. The angle with the normal has been given as 60 degree gets reflected without loss of speed as shown in figure. You have to find out the value of impulse imparted by the wall on the ball will be. So it is uh, if you consider Newton's third law. So it is uh, action reaction pair. So whatever is impulse imparted on the wall same is on the ball. So now you try to see what is the change in momentum of the ball. This is what you have to calculate. So you can go by the simple figure like you see this is 60 degrees. So here also you can say 60 degree. So initially you can say mv cos 60 is here and mv sin 60 is in this direction. These are two components I have made for the initial momentum of the ball. And finally the momentum also you can say this is angle 60 degree as it has been given to you. So this component is mv sin 60 and this component is mv cos 60. Now you can see here that this mv sin 60 is not undergoing any change. So I am not considering them. I am just uh, saying that uh, the change is only in this horizontal component that is mv cos 60. If I take this value as plus then this value will have to be taken minus. Why? Because they are in opposite directions. So the impulse imparted will be mv cos 60 minus minus of mv cos 60 that is plus mv cos 60. 2 mv cos 60 cos 60 is how much cos 60 is half so in total the value comes out to be mv so this is the impulse imparted on the ball as well as on the wall and for that matter i will be marking answer 1 mv so correct answer for this question is answer 1 right let us switch over to next question that is question 5 Here this uh, question 5 is based on uh, conservation of linear momentum. It is a kind of uh, you can say collision based question. A bullet of mass 10 gram moving horizontally with a velocity of 400 meter per second strikes a wooden block of mass 2 kg. You can see bullet mass is in gram and that of wooden block is in kilogram. So be careful about that which is suspended by a light inextensible string of length 5 meter. As a result, the center of gravity of the block is found to rise a vertical distance. So here you see uh, there is a bullet you can say of uh, small mass. It is moving with some initial velocity say u and this wooden block has been suspended by a string. So in this process of collision or maybe it is penetrating through that and uh, the bullet will be coming out with some final velocity. So this uh, wooden block which is very massive that also must have started off with some initial velocity I am calling it capital B and this bullet must have penetrated through that. So this is a kind of uh, question in which you have to balance the momentum here you can say mu m is mass of uh, bullet u is initial speed given to you is equal to mv. Now this capital V has been given in terms of the height up to which it is going. So it is under root 2 gh velocity will be under root 2 gh plus m into v final velocity after penetration. So this capital V you are supposed to calculate. If you substitute here you see the value of m has been given at 10 gram. So you have to take as 10 into 10 power minus 3 kilogram. You understand? Value of u has been given. Value of u has been given how much? 400 meter per second. You can see 400 meter per second. The value of capital M has been given to you. Capital M is the mass of the wooden block that is 2 kg. Understand? And uh, this h value is uh, center of gravity is rising up to distance of 10 centimeters. So h value has been given as 10 into 10 power minus 2. If you substitute all these things you have to calculate the value of v. So if you do the calculation you will be getting the value of v as 120 meter per second. So you will have to mark the answer uh, 3 for this. You understand this is 120 meter per second. So I will be marking the answer 3 for this question number 5. Now let us uh, switch over to next question that is question 6.